Hello, I'm Joel Rennick, the creator of Nomad, and I wanted to give you a quick overview of the application, how you could use it, and where you might uh, find a place for it in your environment. So first of all, here's the app itself. Uh, the caribou is the most nomadic land mammal, so that's where we get our uh, mascot from. And uh, you can find Nomad, the app, usage information, admin materials, and uh, even the source code at uh, nomad.menu is the website. Uh, so now the first time you've launched Nomad, you're going to get presented with a preferences box that looks like this. And all you really need to fill out is your Active Directory domain. Um, so we're going to put that in here. Now keep in mind, <coughs> excuse me, all of this can be done programmatically. We tried to make this very, very admin friendly. So you can set these through a mobile config profile, through your favorite MDM server. Uh, if you want to push down plists, those will work as well. So a variety of different ways to actually get this information into the system. Um, we're just going to put the AD domain here. And also keep in mind, if you are bound to AD, uh, we'll pick up the auto, uh, Active Directory domain from that binding. Uh, while most people are using Nomad to get away from binding to Active Directory, there are some valid use cases while you might be bound and using Nomad as well. So as soon as we close this out, it's going to show the icon up in the menu bar here. That's the triangle, and it shows us that we're not connected. And that's because we haven't connected the VPN yet, so let me go ahead and do that. Now that the VPN is connected, you can see that the not connected information has gone away, and we now have the option of using it. So right now, this is uh, real clean. Uh, all we've got to do is sign in, and we can sign in with a user from our domain. Uh, this particular user has a password that's expired. This is something that Nomad very much supports, so it wants it to reset it now, so we can go ahead and do that. It's now going out over Kerberos, um, connecting to the domain controllers, um, and our password has been changed. So now you can see that the icon has changed to have a green checkbox in it, and it lets us know how many days until our password will expire, in this case, 89 days. So now I can go down here. I've got a few other options. I can see that my password is going to expire there. And if I just hover over uh, and let the tooltip comes up, it shows me the actual date that my password is going to expire. So that's 89 days from today. Um, I can change my password from here. Uh, and it's starting uh, by default at 15 days, Nomad will start alerting the user that their password is about to expire. So they can come up here, change the password, reset that expiration time. Uh, they can sign out, which is effectively just removing their Kerberos tickets. Uh, lock the screen right here from this menu if they want. Uh, and then some fun options that we've got down here. For example, get software. Uh, we've already set this up. Uh, but this will automatically launch uh, Casper self-service. Uh, if you want to use a number of other tools, uh, LandRev, Monkey are both supported. Uh, you'll also be able to put in your own application path if you want, or you can actually have it just go to straight to a, uh, a URL. Also note that we will do variable substitution. So if you are using a URL and you want to have a ticket automatically generated, uh, you will pass through uh, a username, uh, some machine serial number and some other things. And that also works for this get help option down here. In this case, uh, we use BombGuard internally uh, and with a lot of our accounts. So uh, we'll automatically launch BombGuard and get a connection going. Uh, if you're a BombGuard user, it's a great piece of software, but it can sometimes be a little uh, cantankerous to set up for an account. So here we can go, and now the user is immediately in a chat session if they would like to. <coughs> and are able to connect to the users and do everything else that they need to do here. We're going to close out of that. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. So this is the pretty basic situation here. We're going to sign out as this user, and we're going to sign back in as another user to show you how easy it is to move between accounts. I have to type my password correctly. All right. We're now signed in as a different user. This particular user does not have a password expiration. So when I go up here, password does not expire. Still the same options are there. We're going to go down to preferences and we're going to add a few things. First of all, we're going to click on show home folder. And now that I've done that, when I go back up here, you can see that I've got a home SharePoint. So this is actually finding my SharePoint out of my uh, profile in Active Directory and it mounts it right there. 
And also you can see because of single sign-on uh, that we already had Kerberos tickets. The user did not have to enter their password again. Another nice feature that we have here, if we go down to preferences, I can actually put in an Active Directory uh, uh, certificate authority in here. So nomad.test, and we're going to use user auth as the template. And once we've done that, you'll notice that there's a get certificate option here. By selecting that, we're now going to go out to the Windows Web Certificate Authority, get a certificate, and if it all works, which it looks like it has, we go to Keychain Access, you'll now see that we've got a certificate for that user. So Kathy has a certificate created very little uh, short time ago. Um, we've got the, uh, the Nomad is on here. This is her name, and if we double click this, you can see it can be used for a number of things. We've set a number of EKUs on there, uh, and that we've got, it came from our Nomad test domain. So, very handy way to get 802.1x credentials, VPN credentials, whatever you want to do with that, into the user's hands without having to do a lot of scripting or other work. So, with that, uh, thank you very much for listening, and uh, hopefully you'll find that Nomad is very uh, functional in your environment. Uh, we have a few more uh, podcasts that we'll also be doing that cover the variety of other um, features that it has from an admin perspective. So, thank you very much, and... Uh, Hope to chat with you soon.